welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download and install the chisel mod in Minecraft 1.12.2 now I know at this point this mod is a version old but it will be updated to 1.13 and when that happens I will be doing another video on it so be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already because yeah I'm gonna be doing a video when this updates but this mod is a must-have for Minecraft if you ask me it adds in a ton of new awesome blocks so I thought I might as well and go ahead and do a tutorial on it even though it's not the most recent version of Minecraft so nevertheless let's go ahead and get on into it but wait we need to mention one more thing oh and that is our sponsor which is game servers go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just one dollar per month nevertheless let's go ahead and get on to installing the chisel mod so the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below it's going to take you here where you want to click on the file button right there see that click on that and then over here you want to find the version you want to install right for me game version 1.12.2 is what I'm looking for right there it is so we want to come over here and click on the gray download button it will then download in the bottom left we will need to keep this file eventually whenever it finishes downloading and I am sure you that this mod is 100% safe it has been downloaded this one's been downloaded by 658 but it like just came out today this mod in general through all of its versions has been downloaded by over 28 million people so I promise it's safe we can go ahead and click keep in the bottom left down here now after that we need the connected textures mod and basically this is a dependency mod for chisel to work so we need to download this this is found at the third link down below once you're here again click on file right here and we want to find the version we want in our case 1.12.2 right here we are safe to click on that download button this version right here has been downloaded 755 thousand times making it 100% safe for us to keep now we're still not done for both of these mods to work we need this which is forge and if you go to the fourth link down below it will take you here this is our website that actually shows you exactly how to install forge but if you're watching this video all you need to do is click on the big green download button here that will then take you over to forge's website where you want to go ahead and click on the version of minecraft you're installing chisel for in our case 1.12.2 here you then want to come over here under download latest and click on the little installer button you see that click on that and it will take you off to add focus when you're on add focus don't click anything don't do it don't click a thing stop stop don't click anything just wait six seconds and then up here in the top left you will see a red skip button you see that click that red skip button and in the bottom left you will have a file download now we want to make sure that we want to keep right here that it does say forge and then it does say jar at the end right see that it says forge and then it says jar and then we want to keep if it doesn't say that don't download it and then you want to make sure you click the red skip button to get the forge file that's how you download forge and guess what all of our downloads are in fact done so let's go ahead minimize our browser here and my, my, my server's open what is this this seems to be seems to be a minecraft server oh this is played off breakdown a 1.13.1 grief protected survival server this is this is our base from our let's play that you can check out the eye at the top of the screen it's uh, pretty cool stuff you should come play play.breakdowncraft.com but nevertheless let's go ahead and close out of minecraft for now and on our desktop here we do have three things we have the chisel mod we have the connected texture mod or ctm mod that is required for chisel and then we have forge now if these aren't on your desktop don't freak out just hit the windows button in the top left for me probably in the bottom left of your screen and it will open up this this is the start menu and in here all you want to do is type in downloads exactly like that and you should have a file folder in windows like this right here and this is your downloads folder mine's a little glitched out there but nevertheless your mods should be in your downloads folder you can drag those to your desktop just for ease of use once these are on your desktop you want to go ahead and right click on forge here and then open with java tm platform se binary it'll open up something like this right here this is the forge installer mine's Mine's glitched out at the top. One moment. There we go. On second try, it worked. It opened in the center of the screen. If you have that issue, just close out of 
forge right up here with the closed window button. But what if you can't open with Java TM platform SE binary at all? What do you do? Well, don't freak out. I've got a solution for you. Go to the fifth link down below and it will take you here, which is our uh, complete tutorial on installing the Java JDK, which is something you need to open up stuff with Java TM platform SE binary. So just come here and follow this tutorial and it should work. If it still doesn't work and you still can't open up forge, what you need to do is go to the sixth link down below. Yeah, there's a lot of them and it will take you here which is the jar fix just scroll down until you see this little blue download link you see that jar fix.exe right there click that it will download .exe file run that and it will fix your java and you will finally be able to right click and open with java tm platform se binary nevertheless once forge is open getting it uh, installed is pretty easy just make sure you click on install client there and then click ok and then go through and successfully installed forge for forge version 1.12.2 that is what we want to see so go ahead and click ok now we want to go ahead and install our mods here doing this is pretty simple just go to the windows key it's in the top left for me it's probably in the bottom left for you it's this windows button click on that and then type in run are you in right like that and you'll see this desktop app called run click on that and then in your run application here you want to type percent a p p d a t a percent so percent sign app data percent sign that's what you want to type and then hit enter here it will open up this where you should have a dot minecraft folder open that up and then you should have a mods folder but nick what if i don't have a mods folder i don't even have a mods folder what do you do well just create one so right click create a new folder and then title it mods mods exactly like that all lowercase once you've got that go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and in here you want to take both chisel and the ctm mod and drag them both into it boom now we want to go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher right like so and once we're in the minecraft launcher we don't want to just hit play stop it i know you wanted to but don't don't do that what you want to do is come down here next to the play button this little arrow here click that and you should have a profile titled for it you see that now if you don't have that no worries go ahead and click on the three lines in the top up here go over here to launch options and then you want to add a new profile in this case i'll just edit the forge profile that's already there you can name it whatever i'm going to change this to play it up break down craft dot com why, why is that again oh yeah that's the ip of our awesome 1.13 green protected survival server all the info is in the description C come play with us anyway nevertheless you would then want to click on next to version here and what's cool about forge is you can actually scroll all the way down to the bottom and once you're there you should have your forge versions now as we can see here i actually have two versions for 1.7 or 1.12.2 here how do i choose the right one well as we can see here, one of them has a bigger number. One ends in 758 and the other one ends in 759. I'm obviously going to click the one with 759. It's the more recent one. Once you click that, you can go ahead and click save. And then if we come back over here to our news tab, click the arrow next to the play button. This time we want to click on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile we created. But as we can see, this is in fact 1.12.2-forge. Then we can click play and Minecraft 1.12.2 will open up with the chisel mod installed it's it's pretty simple guys pretty simple pretty easy and uh, very very small so let me make this a little bigger here i will actually just see you guys on the minecraft main menu once you're on the minecraft main menu here it's pretty simple to see if these mods are installed just click on your mods folder here your mods button on your main menu and you should see them in here as we can see we have ctm and chisel but just in case just in case they're not there and you don't believe me i'm gonna go ahead and launch into a creative world real quick and we'll see all of the blocks that chisel adds i'll see you guys once the game is loaded all right our game has loaded up and if we hit this right here just hit the e to open up our creative we can check over and there is chisel and there is everything that chisel adds it it's a ton i mean it's a ton of blocks that is why this is such a must-have mod for Minecraft, in my opinion. You have to have it if you are a builder and uh, want to be creative with Minecraft because it adds so much stuff that you'll you'll have endless possibilities for the stuff that you can do with your houses. I'm just going to uh, click on something random here. What about this bookshelf? A spruce bookshelf. And look at that texture. Look at that. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it, guys. And by the way, if you're wondering how you can create this stuff, you just uh, get a chisel, right? It's what it's called. Let's see if I can find it in here. But you get a chisel, and then you're able to, uh, right here, 
right click on it and uh, put blocks in here and get everything working. As you can see, you can change this to a number of different bookshelves. Like, there we go. We can stack these on top of each other if we want to. Awesome stuff there. Congrats on getting Chisel. I hope you absolutely love it. I love this mod. And, uh, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. And I'm out, guys. Peace.